Oh, you're prepared then. I'm trying to get rid of all the Christmas shit. <laughs> Christmas chocolate. Just gift it to people. Anyone's birthday coming up? No, not really. No? Someone's vacuuming. Hopefully that won't be heard. But, hello and welcome to the special hour lot and it's an evening with TS reactions or something we're it's not an hour it's gonna be more than that it's like we're gonna we're gonna do a nice big long video for New Year's it's not gonna be quite posted exactly on the but I could try and post it on the stroke of New Year's but then it technically be after New Year's when you're watching it wouldn't it so sh I mean we can try and time this shit and try and get it so like the end of the video is at the stroke of New Year's I guarantee no one's going to be watching this. No, well, <laughs> but yeah, but that's that's what I mean. It doesn't really matter because yeah. it's a pre-recorded video anyway. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll so as long as it goes up... We'll probably watch it on the 1st of January anyway because I threw a honeyfer from uh, New Year's Eve. True, true. Well, so I was trying to aim at maybe getting it up some point New Year's yeah, Eve that... or day. Mm, that'll so be as long fine. As, as long as it goes up on the eve or the day. Mm. And we're just... We're just gonna watch different things, really. We're just gonna we'll talk. We can talk about stuff. Mm. I don't know what we could talk about. It'll probably just be this, this random crap. What random crap will come out of our mouth next? Yeah, that's. You feel free to say some stuff as well because I seem to be the one that talks a lot more than you during like intros and. Well, I just don't want to sell your thunder. My um commentary is for the uh... reactions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, today is a bit, so you can be, feel a f bit more free to say stuff and maybe start up conversations. I mean, we won't have like half an hour discussions about stuff unless it's to do with what we've watched. <laughs> and even then we'll try and not take half an hour. I don't want this to be like a five, six hour video. We'll try and keep it like around three hours or so. That seems to be the decent time for long YouTube videos. Hmm. Well, over the course of this hour, I will be attempting Attempting. You you made this open. promise I know. before recording, I think it was Power Rangers a couple of nights yeah. ago. He made it, he had a da big dairy milk bar. He made the exact same promise, but it wasn't on screen. And I wish I'd recorded it now because he didn't finish it. He got like, he got three quarters of the way through. But there was still a sizable chunk left at the bottom. So maybe, maybe today we'll be able to finish Tonight it. I will have my night. Tonight will be your I'll night. I'll have diabetes. So, what the way we're going to do this tonight as well is we're not going to it's not going to be three complete hours for us. We're going to take breaks at points. Yeah. I'd, it's gone nine o'clock at night. We're eventually going to start getting tired. So we don't want to be do. And it depends on how much memory that thing can hold as well. We might have to copy everything off halfway through. Yeah. Just so we've got enough memory. Mm. You lot. You. How much memory have you people at home got? Will you be able to handle it? So we we'll, we will take breaks now and then, but the first thing we're gonna do, actually, before we get to the first thing, yes. I'm gonna explain that for this we're not gonna have the video in the corner like we normally do. So we're gonna have to you're gonna have to try and sync it up to your own source. However, in the future, can't promise you when. It won't be like months. Hopefully, it'll be within the next month or so. I can chop these down, particularly the first thing we're going to do, because it's kind of part of our introduction to series. Mm -hmm. And try and sync it up yourself, and then I'll do my normal stuff at a, in a couple of days when I can be bothered, and when we've got time. It's New Year's Eve Eve, so I don't know if I'd have time to do a complete full edit work on a three, four hour video. Yeah. But first up, we have... An adventure in space and time. I always try to say time and space. But it's an adventure in space and time. It was released with the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who and I watched it once mm. on the fit or when it was released sort of thing. Excuse me, my mouth's getting dry. Over to you. I haven't watched it at all. Funny fact, when uh, the 50th first came out, I was completely... Drunk as hell, I could remember oh, half of it. Okay, and then so you had to re watch it to get it. Yeah, but I remember feeling really sour and I thought it was shitty writing, and I really didn't like the 50th. I was quite of disliking it so much just because of the length for a 50th episode. 
Okay. I thought, you know, it should what be if... a fuck longer, you know? How long was it? I thought it was like an hour and a half. Yeah, it was like 75 minutes. Hour 15. Mm, yeah, maybe if they'd added like an extra 15 minutes or something. Just, then... just to reach that mm. hour and a half mark. Then it felt a bit like a movie. Yeah. I mean, it actually felt like a movie. Yeah, it but did. But then the length but, was... You know, it's like... It is in five okay. fucking minutes. Maybe, yeah. I was, I was quite annoyed, but I did watch it again with an open mind and sober mind, and it wasn't as bad as I initially thought. I actually okay. missed a few things when um, watching it in the cinema. It's oh, so you watched it in the cinema, did you? Yeah. I oh, okay. So I didn't. You see, so maybe that's why. See, when I watched it, I enjoyed it. Mm. But when I watched it, I was just expecting special episode of Doctor Who, like the Christmas specials or something. David Tennant's back, yay. Mm. So then when I was, I tried to avoid spoilers as much as possible. So when I watched it and it was like this fucking movie quality Doctor Who episode with like no title sequence, this whole like epic thing at the start, he's hanging off the TARDIS with the dun 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 dun. And I, I loved it. But that's, I went in expecting a Doctor Who episode and came out with an extra long uh, Brilliant quality Doctor Who episode. <laughs> so it was like, okay, I'm happy with it. So maybe that's why. That's why. So we've been talking for a long time. Let's get on to item number one. I'll probably put like code, not codes, like timestamps in the description for each individual in, 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 the individual thing we end up watching. And I'll put like maybe in the title. Oh, we'll get around it somehow. But now we're going to start an adventure in space and time. And this is going to be the longest one. Because this is an hour and a half. What, 83 minutes? How long is 83 minutes? That's about an hour and a half. An hour, hour 25. Yeah. So there we go. So let's let's start. I don't have my glasses, so this could be a little bit interesting. We do have subtitles. Play. Try <laughs> we'll try and get... Oh, uh, it'd help if I unpaused the, the thing. Computer said no. Me. This is the BBC. The following program is based on actual events. It is important to remember, however, that you can't rewrite history. Not one line. Except, perhaps, when you embark on an adventure in space and time. We will let you have that so you can try and sync that video up to your own copy of this. You can talk, if you can still hear this in the background, you can mute your video and just have this adventure in space and time, BBC TV. Oh, I feel so bad. Yeah, Mark Gates. So it was written by the guy who played the Brigadier's dad or granddad, whoever it was, in the Christmas one. Okay. And he's written like 50 billion other Doctor Who episodes by this point. See, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know what I'm expecting right now. It's a dramatisation. So it's not like a documentary, it's not done in the style of a documentary. It's done like a drama about how Doctor Who started. You're blocking like there's a traffic jam 50 yards up the road. <laughs> huh. It's David Bradley. <laughs> piss off, I'm having a piss! <laughs> okay, no. It looked like he was stood, stood at like a urinal or something. Yeah, he, I heard he got a bit wacky at near the end of... Not wacky, he's just getting old. So his memory was slipping, his, he was fluffing up lines. Wacky. <laughs> <laughs> that was unexpected. I will warn you though, when I first watched this, I think I cried. 
Okay. So, be prepared for some emotional stuff towards the end. I can't remember exactly what. I just remember that I had tears in my eyes. Maybe not as bad as the Christmas one. It's, it gets, really? It was that emotional? It gets a little emotion. It does get a little emotion. I'm not going to tell you what I can remember, because, spoilers! So this is what they probably used. Actually, the ones they've used in the recent one looked a bit less blue. Huh. Do you reckon, or, I, or was it just that colour and my memories piddling me up? I thought it was more white. Or, yeah, that's, it's less blue, more sort of grey. Mm. Grey-white colour. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, we're going back to 1963. Better than any mug shop. Piss off. <laughs> it feels like a comedy. It's got comedy elements. I remember it's. Yeah. I'm just saying. Don't be surprised. Because I think that's maybe what it is. It's a twist. I can't remember how. Exactly. <laughs> I said, okay, it feels like a comedy. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I've seen him with the glasses and some we need stuff to keep the sports fans. Can't think of what. Gonna look out. It can be a bit less formal. It's, a, it's New mm. Year's. It's we're chilling. Mm. We're just chilling, illing, watching a bit of whatever the fuck. Be willing. I'm guessing I was ahead of the BBC. Yeah, I think he took. He took. I think he'd not long taken over by this point, maybe. Or oh, no, head head of drama. Sorry, it was on his door. New head of drama. I wish I could understand the slang. <laughs> in the mirror? No, in the, the window? The woman in space. That probably is an actual thing. Yeah. I was saying that it has like, because at first we were confused at what it was until they said the first woman in space. Mm. So until then we're like, oh, it's just some shitty BBC show from the 60s. First woman in space. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke. It obviously didn't come across as well. It kind of changed a bit off of that mm. eventually then. <laughs> Doctor. A doctor? Mm -hmm. 
He's, he's American, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Seem out of place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Try, try to picture the accent. I don't know if the actor is. Mm. But yeah. Well, technically he wasn't old as we know him now. You see he's now old he's, he's, he's old quite young compared to his life. But mind you, he was only the doctor for three years. No, I mean the character as the first doctor. Yeah, but... Saying he's an old guy. He's, yeah, but he's still technically old. <laughs> I get what you mean. Uh, I think he was in Sarah Jane Adventures. Hey, it's Bilks. Yeah. Well, you didn't realise that watching the Christmas episode. I see names, I see actors, I think. You did. Names you did. You didn't see. You did. One hour of watching the Christmas. He had longer the... hair. I didn't recognise him with longer white hair. I recognise him more here. Yes, it's Filch. Actually, he was in another show that I want to see. It's on DVD now that you've mentioned it. <laughs> Where's his cat? Cat. He's a caretaker, isn't he? <laughs> gotcha. Yes. I would like to go to the BBC, check out, right. visit. There is one in Bristol, but you mean the London one, yeah? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, so he with the glasses, he was in an episode of Sarah Jane. That's what I recognised him from. has the politeness to kind of, uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> He's the one who just wants to keep the pieces off. Mm -hmm. People are arguing. I just want to go on a fat break. <laughs> they can smoke indoors. It better about them. Mm. Oh yeah. I would so say it's better. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean it's like it's better for them mm. because they don't have to go outside. Yeah. That's what. Don't smoke, kids. <laughs> 
<laughs> not coming from the best examples of it. But don't smoke. Take our advice. Don't do, do what we say, not what we do. Be good. And if you're kids, you probably should be watching this. We swear like fuckers. Kiss your mother with that mouth. I kissed my mother since I was like 15. When this is like, I'll kiss her on the cheek. So, you know, when I, when I do sort of on the cheek things. You give her a mug, on the cheek, goodbye. And kiss me mum properly since I was like, teen. I don't think the thing I want was on DVD. Mm. He's a techie. He's <laughs> um, <laughs> he's got he's got like a little office that he shuts himself away and looking up stuff up on the internet. It wouldn't, wouldn't have existed back then. <laughs> it, was a, it was a joke in reference to modern day. <laughs> nice save. Um. You haven't been into a brothel, has he? <laughs> I have a lot of it. No, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me! Teleprompter thing. If you know, write in to <laughs> TS Reactions, P.O. Box. Or what? It's a wild, wild something. No, it might be wild foreign breeze. Smashing. Mm. Yeah. Oh, they should have four knobs. <laughs> Yeah. They're obsessed with four knocks. Every time you hear any kind of knock, you go on about four knocks. I don't know. <laughs> it's like it's manipulating me. <laughs> oh, I don't know any chocolate or anything. I've got sweets. Close enough. And double sided sellotape for some reason. You're a waxing. <laughs> but with like really thin strips. No. I just had it on my bed and I must have chucked it in there to get out of the way. I miss that shit. Uh, I kind of remember what character he plays to so kind of guess what it was about. She wants a D, take it upstairs. Not bad, so yeah. 
Me because the guy looked gay. <laughs> but that too. Sound familiar at all? Oh, yeah, of course. Well, refresh from my mouth, I just dribbled all over myself. <laughs> That's happened. <laughs> no, they didn't. They didn't. First Doctor's face wasn't in the. Well, they should have opening. done it. I think it's from the second onwards they mm. properly had the face in there. to get the line out there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Mm. Uh, okay, so these are who they got to be, Ian, Barbara and Susan. Thank 
could touch the alien sand and listen to the sun. <laughs> 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 I love how the dog looked up. <laughs> that probably wasn't scripted. <laughs> but the director is shooting it for the dog. We're having that. Yeah. We're having that. One day we shall get back. Yes. One day. One day. Who's shooting? My granddaughter. I'm your granddaughter. Yes. Yes. Of course you are, darling. But she's my granddaughter in the story I'm doing on the television. And that funny old man who is inside the magic box. Like a jack-in-the-box, Santa. Well, there is a light man, yes. But this is a machine in disguise. It's a time machine. Do you know how to fly a time machine, Santa? Hmm? Oh, yes. Yes. Not yes. accurately. <laughs> I can take off and I can land places. I can't really choose the destination, but... No, it turns him to warriors. Depends how you look at it, come on. <laughs> I like how he just pulls on that. Uh, um, I've seen a show in real life. <laughs> He's a royal bastard. <laughs> Giving up? No, not yet. Stretch it. <laughs> Just let my gut settle a bit. Shut that door! Time machine bell. You can't actually take off. Is he going to forget what he was on back? <laughs> I think the idea was that Sydney didn't actually know the film. No. He was just sort of like, yeah, it's just somewhat, yeah, that's the one, that's the film. And he's just got this, keeping this big fat ass grin on his face, not changing. <laughs> They're just trying to butter him up. Mm. What the hell are you talking about? Of course you're blessed. You're going to be Doctor Who, aren't you? I can't really say that's being blessed. <laughs> Little did he know. Not, 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 not. Alright, alright. Do you know that okay. Do you know that there was a TV show in the olden days called The Avengers? Yes. Okay. I didn't know if you actually thought they meant normal. Well, you know, one tries, and then you 
these kids a perfect life. You couldn't be in safer hands. Fun, energy, youth. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> Like the inner side of my lip because I tried to bite a thing <laughs> and I bit too much because they're so small. I will not be making the joke that bad. She said Babylon. So I can help. <laughs> it's an obvious joke. It's making as you go a lot. Very well. I wonder if it actually happened like that. That's, I don't. Is there any way to ever truly know? Yeah, it looks really blue. <clears throat> Maybe it was that blue back in the classics. Maybe they've just whitened it for. Well, it's black time. and white. Yeah. And they, when they realised what the colour was, they thought, uh, let's not go. Oh, uh, yeah, so like. This is the original why it would have been. They like. decided to make it look as if it were on the TV screen rather than it would in real life. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like him, doesn't it? No, no. Do you recognise him? I think it might have been Baldrick. Who's Baldrick? The little dirty one from Black Adder. Been a long time. I know I've shown you a couple of them, but. The one from Black Adder who wasn't Mr. Bean. <laughs> House. Oh shit, yeah, he was in Black Adder as well, wasn't he? No, not him. Not who, Laurie. It sounded like him as well, that was what made me think of it first. It's just two men pushing the door. Quite recording a live show. Yeah. Uh, maybe they didn't have the editing software then. <laughs> Did he have many problems doing the first time then? I don't know, we watched the first time, it wasn't that bad. Well, they did make a second one, didn't they? Yeah, but the second one was the one that got broadcast normally. Uh, maybe I'll explain it in a minute.
I think they had a fuck up on one day, on the first day maybe. Maybe they had to try it again, yeah. Okay, I'm struggling to believe that actually happened. Well, I think that's what I was on about where... I'm struggling to believe that the water happened. Mm. But... I think that's where all the lights and stuff get switched off at a certain time. Ah. Remember what I've mentioned before? Mm. If I think it might be explained, hopefully. <clears throat> Yeah, because if the water happened, how is all the cameras and shit not ruined? I did not, they not lose like thousands of pounds worth in their yeah. first shoot. Unless it was just a test to show him. Mm. <laughs> ah, shit. Not a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's just hungry. Maybe he's just hungry. Looks like a big fella. Looks like he likes a bit of food, so... Well, you're not wrong. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm quite... I could do with some of the weed. I've got food I can warm up. I just have to do it in one of the breaks. Can she get the police on him for that in the 60s? I don't know. Nowadays that would be an arrestable offence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was who I think thought it was. He was uncredited though, I think. I hope this was real. That's, yeah. And I hopefully, like, one of it, maybe it comes from, like, biographies of some of the producers and writers and actors and stuff, hopefully. <laughs> Can we go back? 
This was from the actual episode, wasn't it? I was trying to tell. I couldn't quite tell. It sounded more like David Bradley. Mm. Yeah. Mm, it was just a very good recreation. Mm. machine-like creatures. The lens on a flexible shaft. As, okay. as an eye, you will move ahead of us in the following right directions. Ian breaks away and dashes for it. Is that an actual gun then? Oh, for a moment, I didn't know if it was... Oh, I know what they're doing. Okay. I knew he was on about the Dalek episode. That's why I thought it was like them making a Dalek, maybe, or something. Yes, I think maybe that's why they filmed it the second time. Because the idea was that they didn't get any views the first time round because. Yeah, but why not just free show it? That's what I'm wondering. Maybe you could show something once back then? But that just seems dearer. In a time where money wasn't really at its most. I thought someone was outside the window then, <laughs> gonna jump. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, it's so, shit, like it's so jump. bad like one of them jumps. were a bit wobbly, I'll give them that, but the robots went on to be legends. <laughs> Kill it, Kill it, <laughs> the irony in that sentence. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you should have said just kill the doctor. Uh, it, was, it was referred to as Doctor Who mainly back then, know, even like in the credits. I know, I still don't like it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
really hungry, so I'm gonna, if someone's awake, I'm going to see if someone can stick my food in the oven, because it's there to be warmed up. I might just do it myself. I've seen this, I know. It's my DVD. His fault he pr promote. Long day of recording. I've survived on a sausage roll and a sandwich. I think we've got something really special here, Sydney. So he went to have a go and she lashed out. Yeah. yeah. That's. I thought that's what was going to happen because I could vaguely remember. It's sort of, It's coming back to me as we're watching it. Maybe they did just reshow it. Maybe the first one didn't go wrong in whatever way. That's actually uh, quite intimidating. That's what I I love the old design of the Daleks, which is probably why it barely changed over the years. Just a little bit of a touch up in paint. <laughs> what do you expect? After 50 years, we need a new paint job. <laughs> Technically, spoilers for upcoming episodes. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You'll forget. I'll go high. You forget. Yeah, you'll be. You'll completely forget. So next time we have Daleks for our next by introduction to Doctor Who, by the way. Filming this between story one and story two. Oh no, it's legs. And then they're paralyzed. The legs are paralyzed, man. Yeah. Back then, you had like different settings to a Dalek, right? <laughs> kill, seriously maim. Stun and kill, it seems, yeah. I like it. Excellent. They they look, look a bit more creepier in black and white as well. Yeah. That old style sort of. Duh. <laughs> if they're actually shot in black and white, why do they shoot it with like have colour in them? So maybe that's just the materials they used. Yeah. Well, and even in black and white, certain colours still have like certain darkness tones. Yeah. Shut up, child. Because the Daleks are nasty. And you will see to her special gloves to touch them. Yes. 
Hmm. Sorry, my, my computer's just had a pop up. There we go. I need antivirus stuff. <laughs> Obviously. So, is it. Is William Hutch. Is he feeling guilty that he's not doing it properly anymore? Like, in your life, he's making mistakes? Maybe. That was only the second episode. Story. You're in trouble. <laughs> We're fucked. Well, I better get packing. Back off home. <laughs> back in India. Who wants to go back there? That might have been a little bit racist. Alright, we love her. Is that better? Yeah. But it's still a little bit racist. <laughs> it's not racist, it's really well done. That's what you're looking for. <laughs> Just the accent. Oh look, an adventure in space and time. All I done was copy the accent. I didn't say any stereotypes. He has he has a very British accent. I know I was doing an American version of Pakistan. Of India. Like Raj from Big Bang Theory. And then that's a stereotype, which is racist. Let's watch. Racist. Let's, let's. Oh, look, a bus. What will you do on a bus? Someone's on a bus. Who's <laughs> on a bus? I get to stay in England. Yes. <laughs> last one, I promise. Last one. We're going to get dislikes for this video. No, you're not. See, it's affected him so much, he's got a cut on his bloody head. <laughs> Two of them, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe he doesn't like that he's fluffing up then. Mm. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> she just looks over to Sydney Newman. Shame it's not in colour. Yeah, I can't get what you mean though. Why have it all so fancy colours? Mm. If they were just, it's just the props. They just got normal props anyway, and they were those colours anyway, so. Yeah. Money around like that. It's an insecure professional, you know. You should all bear that in mind. Fancy anything at all. Splashing out on you all the time, you don't know you're really poor. You're a child. It's only how I look. Don't be able to doctor and his grand will survive then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was just what Bill Hartwell was like, I'm guessing. <laughs> You mean, you lied on your CV to get a job? <laughs> We've all done that. <laughs> Are you ready yet? Uh, someone's going to give me a knock when it is. She wants you. She wants your sexy chocolate. 
I can't have it, he's just gone. So, the jokes can end. This guy, he is... I don't know if I have to explain this anymore with you. No, it's still there. <laughs> no, no, I mean, it's still there, that's what I mean, but I, didn't, I don't know if I have to explain this because it happens so much. It's fine. This is who he is. He likes to piss people off. It's not intentional, it's just... I'm not pissing people off. Refill, please. Happy New Year's, everyone. <laughs> Do that at 18! Oh, yeah, anyway. Might be. If you're watching this after, then yeah, it probably is. Scrodener's cat. It is 2018, or is it is 2017? Who knows? I don't think that is. It's much different, but I can't be bothered to think of it, so... I know what it is. Yeah, I know, but it's nothing to do with, like, if you can't see it or if... The whole idea of... Yeah, you can't see it or cannot see it. Yeah. That's got nothing to do with what time something was posted online and what time you're watching a video. It's more like hello to the future people if you're watching this afterwards. Mm. But we don't know if they're watching it in 2017 or 2018. Very few people will be watching it in 2017. Most of the views will probably come after. Oh. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the doctor doesn't smoke? No. Well, I think Tom Baker... Would didn't be... smoke because... No, he smoked, but he refused to do it sort of in costume and out on the street and stuff. Oh, I thought you just didn't do it in the public at all. Oh, yeah, just not in public, basically. That's probably what it was. <laughs> Daleks. Ah, oh, crap. I took over the one kid. Yeah. Then did a horde of them. <laughs> just turns. How did they get so close and we didn't yeah, know they were yeah. here? Yeah, with no footsteps whatsoever. They all snuck up. Fucking ninja children. It's a school for ninjas. They all snuck up just as one person doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. In time. Uh, got rid of them. It's fine. <laughs> Quick, dear. Let's get the fuck out of here before they come back. <laughs> Uh, I think it's nice to see it like this because yeah. I've heard I heard a few a few bad things about the real actor, so it's nice to see him being a good person. Yeah, I think we might end up doing this one possibly at some point, just because it's part of the arc we're doing. No, we should just do that for a stag do. Go around in Dalits. Do you know how much it costs to have a Dalek or even try and build one ourselves? It would be a lot. You just need a big cone and a flashy helmet. I just walk across the ground really quickly. <laughs> I'm not thinking really expensive with a chair and a little car riding with it. Yeah, but I won't. If it doesn't look decent, don't do it at all. Mm. Uh, sometimes it doesn't have to look decent. The fact that then you people know what you're on about is <laughs> yeah. hilarious. <laughs> that was a good line, actually. I liked that. Was this episode from like the finale or a Christmas episode or what? It was the one where Susan left. So it wasn't. It wasn't a particular special episode. It was just the one where she left. Mm. Midway through a series, actually. Goodbye, 
Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. The oh, doctor right. doesn't like yeah. endings. Don't you fucking dare. There's a part I think might get you later on oh, that I can remember. I'm not going to spoil it. No one's going to give him a round of fucking applause. Yeah. Oh, uh, he called him the wrong name. Morris was the director who um, just left. She's got a bum. I want to see the other side. Actually, I probably would as well. Not in a gay way, just more like curiosity. Yeah, more I know. Than so, sometimes it comes off of that you, you you seem quite gay. You seem more gay than me sometimes on this channel. Oh, dare you. <laughs> Try to take, take my gay thunder. That's what you said in the last episode of Doctor Who. Without Doctor Who, can you? Come on. Can you remember? He said that only the children knows his real name. In like in a certain moment. Yeah, but time. that's that's what I know, but still he just, it's He just mentioned children. I know. I'm still going over the, you over can't, the yeah. grief. You can't you can't you can't just try and connect little things like that. I can't help it. <laughs> With Doctor Who, everything connects. This, Even if it's unintentional, yeah, it's yeah, always it's connected. Kind of, it's kind of behind the scenes. Because time is a bubble. Oh, it's wibbly wobbly. Arteriosclerosis. I think yeah. something to do with the veins. Hardening of the arteries. Mm, that's it. So, I'm guessing we'll be able to move much. around that much. Yeah. That's too much. <laughs> I don't think we'd have to see that episode, thank fuck. Well, with those weird moth creatures. <laughs> But remember, at this point, there was no idea that the show could continue on without him. Mm. They didn't. They didn't think of regeneration yet. They didn't think, oh, it's okay if he leaves, we'll get yeah. someone else to play Doctor Who. Mm. He is Doctor Who. Is the roles for him? Yeah. So, do you get what I mean? Try and try and watch this with the idea that regeneration doesn't exist. Mm. I remember this the answer to say the same thing. 
Actually, I'm glad to have a chance to talk to you. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Can't do this to me, Belle. Oh, I don't want to be a cunt to you, Bill. Oh, shit. Never you mind. Yep. <laughs> She's leaving. But why? Did she get like a better job offer? Or is she just scared that he's getting old and she don't want to see him? It seems too much to just show something that she created because an actor needs to replace it. I can't remember why she leaves. Did it not say? Not really. We didn't miss it because we were talking. I doubt it. I'm reading subtitles. Don't have to Yeah. Why are you leaving? I can't stand how blue that bloody TARDIS is! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying it. But you, you know what I'm thinking. You know what the writer was thinking when he wrote that line. Yeah. What about you? Not ready for it? It wasn't Stephen Moffat, was it? <laughs> no, it was his BFF, Mark Gatiss. <laughs> the guy who played mm. Brigadier's dad. Could miss all this. I said it does get a bit of mosh. I don't know if it gets worse yet, but. They're trying to manipulate us with the sad music. <laughs> Do what you want, say the lines, we'll try and move the camera. <laughs>
Amateurs. Well, sorry. <laughs> Reminds me back in university. <laughs> or college. Yeah, actually. Someone call up to the techies. <laughs> Get a music teacher. Does she know what she's doing? She works with this more than we do. <laughs> Just got a head brush. Lights, maybe. Maybe he's going too ill. Do you see the light bulb go? Bing! <laughs> well, at least it's not too cliche, like looking at a caterpillar. Going, yeah, hmm. yeah. You don't want them to come. <laughs>
I write the show, I sing the show. <laughs> Do we see him? Do we see him? Let's see a picture. Not the actual Patrick Trout. Why didn't they show the actual? Because they get someone in oh. right at the end to recreate oh, the okay. passing of the torch sort of thing. It'd be nice to see him in a Doctor Who episode in the future. That's, yeah, he was... He was it was the, the there was an episode where it was like done all in that whole camera view. Mm -hmm. Can you remember that one? Yeah. Where it's something to do with like sleeping and stuff, and it was all from the point of view of like Blair Witch style yeah, and shit. Yeah. It was the guy with the glasses who turned out to be the bad guy in that mm -hmm. who plays him. He's in like League of Gentlemen. Now I get this scene. There's a little teaser at the start. I suppose you didn't start crying at that. I don't remember. No, it's just when the little girl said the TARDIS will go on and on forever. Oh, that's sorry. what hit me. It's just like, ah. Uh. You want us to pause this so you can eat your food? No. Oh, I thought you were tearing up again. No, I'm no. I was uh, giggling. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it would be proper like... <laughs> if I was sniffling. <laughs> Every doctor feels like that. That might have been where I teared up the original time, though. Memories of downtown. 
It probably was. There hadn't been a Capote before this. So Tenant was still my definite favourite. Now I can't choose between them. Well then, who's He looks nothing like the actor. I'm scared, not, not as much as David Bradley does as Bill. But you know, someone you know, a bit older. I don't think I could see him coming back as the second Doctor, but I had no... I saw him as the first Doctor immediately in the Christmas one, do you get what I mean? But they should have got someone who looked more like that as your second actor that played uh, the Doctor. And the haircut's all wrong. It's new, I don't like it. I think we're near the end now, anyway. This is when he regenerated for the first time. Or when they filmed, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know what you meant. What the... I'm seeing this. I'm... wait. I don't know how I feel. I do not... I don't know how I feel. I don't... don't know if I should... Fanboy, or feel cheated, or okay. I think the whole idea was because this was near the fiftieth. It was near the point he was about to leave as well. I'll let you read this briefly. I got a squint. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, they got him quite right. Yeah, yeah. Her? Not, yeah, quite yeah. right. They got someone with her forehead. <laughs> and the same sort of chubby cheek. Obviously. Yeah. He does return once more to a Doctor Who episode. Yeah, I think the whole Matt, because obviously it was filmed with the 50th, so Matt Smith had like one or two more before he left as well. Uh. So it was the whole idea of the first one meeting the current one, even if it was meant to be some kind of weird psychic <laughs> mental link. <laughs> yeah, the ending confused me as well, to be honest. Oh, that was um. I didn't, I didn't know how you'd react to it. I remember he appeared in it, so I, I said nothing. But so, I mean, How did you react then? Well, originally? Yeah. That's why I don't think I knew what to think of it either. <coughs> you got right, I wasn't as big a fan of Matt Smith as you mm. were. Yeah. I was I was ready for Matt Smith to leave when he left, because mm. I thought he was too much like David Tennant. And I loved him the first couple of years, but then through like the third, fourth year of Matt Smith, it was sort of... And it's because they kept having hiatuses. I think maybe if they didn't have hiatuses, I wouldn't have been so pissed off. Yeah. But yeah, what do you think of that as a whole? Um... It's quite different to watch. To me, to me personally, that 
in a way reminded me of Stephen Hawking, the theory of everything. The film. I don't think I've seen that. Well, it's, it's kind of like a dramatization of Stephen Hawking's life. Yeah, it, kind of, it is. That's basically what so, it was. So, yeah, it, it reminds me of that. Um, there was like a Facebook one like years ago as well and shit like that. Mm. Yeah. I think it was a good story. But, but. There, wasn't, <laughs> there wasn't much conflict going on really. It was just the one conflict. Oh, we need to change the doctor. We need to, we need to change the actor. That was the only... He's getting old, he doesn't want to go. And, yeah. Like, I just... And but then, few when, the when, when you're focusing on a story on one person... I know, but... And it's, it's a story about Doctor Who, not just the actor. Well, it's more of a story of how Doctor Who started, not, yeah. not Doctor Who's 60 years worth of... Oh, no, no, I, I understand that, but I just want the... I want to see other things, like... How did they do researching? Like, you know, show in a more fun way. And, and I, that I would just be a normal documentary, which you could probably go to the behind the scenes for. I know, but I want... I this want... was meant to be like a TV movie. Mm. Drama. It was meant to be a dramatisation. I just wish to have more stuff in it. Make it a bit like, a little bit longer. Okay, yeah, maybe. And maybe I, I maybe, delve, really just left maybe delve short. into his family life a bit more. Yeah, okay. now, now and then we'd see a little bit with yeah, him and his granddaughter or him and his wife, yeah. but not not too much. Mm. Okay, yeah. So you'd say enjoyable, but not. It's not a, not, not a perfect ten, but yeah, it's quite enjoyable to watch. You say about seven, eight. Like like a bit high seven, low eight, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll go for the eight. Hmm. So then we don't get as many dislikes. <laughs> well, how did you did you manage to sit through an entire hour and a half of that with us? They're probably like, I mean, oh shit, I mean, oh, it's no, so long, yeah, so long. Especially considering the video wasn't in the corner as well, and then on YouTube I'll cut it into best ofs and shit. So you've had to have your own DVD running, unless obviously you're watching this afterwards. But yeah. <laughs> Timey wimey. Mm. Mm. So what? We've got we've got a few more ideas of what we could do next. But do you have anything to talk about before before we move on to the next thing? I think we'll have a break before we, oh, yeah, we need watch the next thing. Oh, <laughs> we need a break. So at this this was like the first portion of our extra long reactor form. An evening with TS reactions, or a New Year's with TS reactions, kind of, mm. yeah. Maybe if we ever do another extra long video like this, that'll be an evening with TS reactions. But because it's, it's New Year's, so it's got to be a New Year's with TS reactions. Mm. So, anything? Mm. Try and talk more! <laughs> God damn it, I can't be the only one that talks. And I, I want to take a bite of this, I want, yeah. I have no idea what to say. I mean... I'm not the one controlling the ship, you're controlling the ship. It's like, oh, you're my co host. Have, have a go at the console, okay. Racist joke. Don't say that, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've never done this before. <laughs> a good start for you. Just don't go racist, sexist, genderist, any. Gender and sexist, I. No, I'm not going to go into that. Any ist you can think of, don't, don't do it. Don't, don't do any ist. Politicalist. So, That's a word, shut up. I can't make a joke so what about have you done anything. Over, what have you done over the year? <laughs> what have I done over... Oh, fucking hell, 2017. Long last year. I started this year blind drunk, I believe. Like you do most years then? Yeah. Crying and pissing on myself. No, that's when I was a That's just a Friday night. Yeah, that's a Friday night. I can't actually remember what I was doing last Christmas Eve. Oh, I know what I was doing. I somehow made it home. Yeah, I was drinking in town, then somehow I lost four hours of my life. Then I ended up somewhere 
five miles away from my house in the opposite direction that I was going to. Where do you end up? Lock Leeds. Somewhere. That five miles from yours, really? I no, no, I was further along, but that's oh, okay. where I, I just went past my house. I took a right. Oh, okay. Um, I've learned a lot over these years. I mean... Yeah. I remember the one year. Over this year. <laughs> and of course, you got the bad things that happened this year, like certain attacks in certain places, and it's still ongoing now. So we're world stuff that we don't we don't want to get down on. So I think it's best to um, just keep on trying to be happy, trying to make a joke, because if we give in, that's what they want. We need to always be happy, make positive changes in our life. This meat's really chewy. They focus on the negative stuff. <laughs> I just said positivity. What, of how negati negative? Uh, just shut up and swallow your meat. Like a good little boy. Too fat, too fat. That sounded oh. nasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. You like it, don't you, you dirty whore? See, I was just... <laughs> I was just trying to break your whole, like, dramatic New Year speech with just some random shit. <laughs> it made it kind of chewy. <laughs> Let's take a break, shall we? <laughs> we'll be back chewy. in, like, literally a second for you, but we're going we're gonna to take five, ten minutes. LJ can sit there, Michelangelo can sit there, I've named all my turtles. <laughs> Blastoise is Leonardo, we've got Turtwig which is Michelangelo, Shuckle is Donatello, Torkoal is Raphael, Turtonator is called Arnie because I ran out of Ninja Turtle names and he's Arnie the turtle in their door. And then you've got baby Leo, Leo Jr. Leonardo's son. He doesn't you don't you don't like evolving, do you? As you can tell, we're back. And I guess can you wonder oh yeah, and we've got Mimi, star of my show. Obviously, my Mimi 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 Q. Yeah, you see that there? Yeah, you're alright out there. Lovely. I wonder what you can tell what we're doing now that we're back after a break. I wonder. I wonder. Well, okay, what's, so my history with the Pokemon anime, you're going to fall, aren't you? I need to make a strap or something for you. Just sit, sit on my lap. You're tiny. I would have thought Wimikyu would have been bigger than that. Anyway, my history... <laughs> That's what women say a lot. <laughs> <laughs> or guys, depending on uh, oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah. what toilet you go oh, into. I would have expected it to be bigger than that. But my history with the Pokemon anime is I watched it religiously up until about halfway through the Ruby Sapphire series and I stopped mm. then I watched the first half of the Diamond Pearl series and then I stopped then I watched one or two episodes of the Black and White series and I didn't really want to watch any more of that so it's mainly the actual games I kept you then, going yeah then I watched like I think I, I got through a decent amount of X and Y I certainly remember the first episode where Ash jumps off of the bloody Eiffel Tower or whatever it is the Eiffel Tower equivalent to catch Pikachu. So Pikachu almost falls, uh, and Ash instinctively jumps off. Yeah. And I remember when I was when I first watched, I must say I was like nineteen or something. Whenever that first came out, and my, it, it hit my heart. It was like Ash was gonna die. He knew he'd die doing that, and because when he grabbed Pikachu, he did the whole turn away, so mm. he'd break Pikachu's fall. And it was just like, oh, the emotion. Maybe this series would be good. And then I started watching it and I didn't carry it on. So now we're in Sun and Moon era. A man of full commitments. Yeah. Uh, oh, but I've, I've collected every game. Okay. We're not... Okay. At least one of every game up until I hit college. And then I would collect each version of every game. So from black and white, although I only got black too. Because what's the point of getting black and white too? But yeah, since black and white, I've got both versions of every game. So, what's your history with Pokemon anime? Where did you get up to? 
basically it was my cousins I got the game first. Okay, and so I was in, in the game. So just getting into Pokemon in general. Yeah, they okay. they were playing these games. They had this thing called a Game Boy Color. But I watched the anime first and mm. wanted to get the games from that. So mm. my first game was Pokemon Yellow, which was pretty much based off the anime. I remember getting it for one Christmas. That's how I started the games. I was just so fascinated with these creatures that could do attacks and certain things happen in a different way. So like, you hadn't watched the anime? No, not okay. really, not at this point. Ooh. And, it, and yeah. from there you, had, you got into it and stuff. I cannot remember, how, no one remembers how old they are when they first start watching Pokemon. I kind of can. I can't remember the first exact moment, but I have vague memories of being an eight year old sat in a flat down Hembury with the old cable, the black cable boxes with the button numbers on top. Right. And believe it or not, Pokemon was being shown on CITV, which is where the source we're watching this episode comes from. So, 20 years later, CITV still has the rights to the Pokemon anime. Ah, oh, impressive. Impressed. De yeah, definitely. It is definitely, actually. Yeah. Anyway. So, what about the anime? Did you just, you got into Pokemon through the games and figured, alright, I'll see what this cartoon of it's like? Well, funny enough, I didn't actually... There was no sudden click. I played on a game, but I didn't actually own a game. And then I was watching in this TV at one point, and uh, what, Tom and Jerry, and I was just flicking through, and then Pokemon came on. Okay. I started watching it. Oh, this is really good. I like Pokemon. I like this little red, uh, red, yellow. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. He's red. He's red. He's, 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 he's red. So yeah, I know. Embarrassed. <laughs> and, but it never clicked to me that the Pokemon games was the same. Was uh, the, okay. the same universe as the Pokemon. Well, I didn't actually well, think they were, they, they were same Pokemon. They, yeah, they were the same yeah. franchise. And it's just, it just slowly grew over time. There was no sudden realization. It was just more. At one point, I was like, oh, I don't think they're connected to... Oh, they're completely connected in some sort of way. So I knew they were both Pokemon, but my oddly, mind never made oddly that enough, click. Oddly enough, when I was young, I had to force myself to realise the classic series of Doctor Who was this... Like, I researched it, and mm. for, for a moment, for, like, there was a doubt in my mind for some reason at some point. But anyway. A doubt? Where? I can't remember. For some reason, I had to think... Am I sure this is the same Doctor Who I'm thinking of? The one with Christopher oh, Eccleston? Oh, I see. Whilst researching oh. the classics. And I was sort of like looking it all up and stuff. It's like, is this really... Is this really Doctor Who? I mean, it's got a blue police box, so it... I suppose it must be. I mean, by that point, I hadn't watched Eccleston's Regeneration. Oh. Anyway, that's what we watched last time. I, I attempted this, but now it's kind of starting to choke me a little bit. I sort of tried to attempt... Oh. I need to make like a better Just thing. hold him. Her. Her. Mimi is a girl. I thought it was, you know, unisex. Well, like, both. I thought it didn't have a gender thing. No, me, me, Mimikyu, Mimikyu does. No. I thought it was an it. Like no. A ghost of a child. No, I mean, or like, a ghost of a drawing You, you find child. even a lot of the ghost Pokemons tend to have genders. Most of them. Oh, I know Gengar had, could be a boy or a girl. I think most of them can actually. It's usually legendaries or things based off objects that doesn't have genders. So like Magnemite doesn't have a gender. Or Voltorb doesn't have a gender. And then obviously every legendary. Mm, yeah. I don't know. I j it's weird for me to think ghosts with genders. Mm. For Pokemon. Yeah, but right. then I suppose they had a gender before they died. Yeah, true. Anyway, as you can tell, we're going to watch some Pokemon. We're going to watch the first episode of the new Sun and Mo Moan. Moan? The, the Sun and Moan. Moan. We're just moaning all about that sun. The new Sun and Moon anime. I haven't watched it. Ray hasn't watched it. So this is actually going to be a genuine reaction, reaction for once. Yeah, mm. not an introduction to. So let's, let's go. Where's my mouse? Hey, you got two of them right here. Uh, yeah, well, rat Come on, come on. Well, we don't technically know what Mimikyu is. It's, it's a drawing of this. That's what it is. Yeah, but th that isn't the Mimikyu. Mimikyu's the little creature underneath the... Well, it's lucky we didn't start when the pop-up came up. Hey! 
How do I get rid of that? Oh, I need an update. Cancel the schedule update. So refresh play? Just in case it starts again? No, no, I cancelled the schedule update. Oh. It's an update for... I'll do it afterwards, it's fine. Yeah, this is the Mimikyu under here. We don't know what the Mimikyu is. No one knows what a Mimikyu is. If you are to lay your eyes upon a Mimikyu, you'll go insane. Literally, it's in the Pokedex entry. It's probably just a picture of me wanking inside. That would make anyone go insane. Mm -hmm. No, it made me insane. So you can't, you can't wank whilst there's any kind of like reflective surface nearby because you'll go insane. <laughs> uh, yeah, because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do it too close to the screen, otherwise you get white, white stuff over the screen. Yeah. yeah it's, 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 it's a, a bit to clean up. I mean, you don't want to clean up straight away. You just done it. You just want to five minutes just to sit back and go, I feel slightly ashamed of yourself for doing it to whatever oh. you're finding it on. You're like, I feel good, but slightly ashamed. Then you have to clean it and it gets all sticky and you get toilet paper everywhere and you're wondering why do I use toilet paper when there's a flannel in the bathroom. I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> Lovely topic to talk about just as we're about to watch a children's, children's cartoon. show. Children's show cartoon. I heard something bing. Was it yours or mine? No, it was yours. I don't know. Oh shit. I can't be bothered to check it now. I'll check it in a bit. <laughs> it's this man. Please be quiet or shut him up about wanking. <laughs> it's perfectly natural. Po Pokemon Sun and Moon. English dubbed because I don't have my glasses, so no chance I'm reading tonight. No, I reading no, 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 tonight. No. There ain't no chance I'm reading tonight. We'll give you the first couple of seconds of silence so you can sync it up to your own source. Because once again, if you're watching this on the day of this going up out instead of the one off, you'll need to sync it yourself. But they will though. Yeah. So. Millet Island, one of the several islands in the Alola region. Ashen Peak That should do. In the of a That's fine. An they could probably sink into the Pikachu at the start. The oh, it's riding on the... Sharpedo, yeah, uh, yeah. I thought it was like, you know, one of those electric or motorized jet skis. That's pretty much what they're meant to be, I suppose. Just the Pokemon equivalent. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he'd be doing this, you know, and then like, yeah, how dare off. you poke me? Oh, but he did that, so you just turned the hand around. It got, it's got, it's, it got its directions confused. It thought Ash was behind it, so maybe he was trying it, to do that. Maybe it was different in the Japanese, but it made it slightly different from English. I don't know, maybe. It's still a kid's show in Japanese. Yeah. More so than Digimon. I'm not sure if I like if I like in the way the anime, yeah, the, the well, not, not the animation, the art style. Yeah. Actually, I say the animation seems a lot more fluid, but the art style is still weird. To Sun and Moon, the series. So I didn't get one of my own. I never realised Sharpedo's eyes were like slitted. I thought they were just sort of eyes with the red thing. Very sassy. It's a cat. Cats are cats kind of. Oh. What? The music. It's just, it's, it's the same music as the games. Uh, so I'm just getting game. Oh, they're having a race. Uh, okay. Ooh. Uh, uh. Sorry. This is where we <laughs> see his first Pokemon he catches. Is it, this is going to be the first one he befriends. Uh, does he ever catch Pokemon or does he just befriend them all? Yeah, he's, he's stuck in the frame scene. Yeah. He's not, he's not their master, he's just a buddy now. <laughs> it's never quite a dominant relationship. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting Professor Oak to be on the other one, like, ah, uh, glad we got a kid out. Oh, what the fuck is he doing here? It's his mum and his adoptive father, obviously. Mr. Mine, we're going to need to tell him the truth. You're not his real father. 
He's a bit. I know yeah. I dropped it on the head a few times, but he, sooner or later you're gonna find out. See, I always had the feeling about her and Oak, but what's she doing with the Mister Mime? That's the question. Well, whenever her and Professor Oak have. I He sped up the audio for some... <laughs> okay. Now, yeah, Oak always seems to coincidentally appear at her house. Okay. Christ, Oak looks weird. What? He looks older, doesn't he? In this new art style. Yeah, they gave him wrinkles. Get, yeah. I don't like anime style. No? No, it looks... It's very cartoony. It's the Taurus Rider music. Oh, I love that they use music from the games though. I will always praise that. <laughs> don't grab it, Pikachu. <laughs> don't no, grab never, it. Never grab a Taurus by the tail. Well, why has Ash got blue hair? I thought it was black hair or dark brown. Why has he got blue hair this time? Maybe it's meant to... Yeah. Why is it blue? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's meant to be like a light black. Maybe, Maybe they're trying it. Oh. Grabbing. <laughs> it's your own fault. Actually, I've done that. I did that with a goose in Disneyland Paris when I was like five years old. Yeah, but Didn't stick you're your a five. I know. He's been ten for fucking eighteen years. Twenty. He should have at least 19. twenty. A thirty-year-old experience at this point. Not to put your head oh, no, into no, no. creatures. He forgets. It's it's Oak's devious plan. Oak steals his Pokemon at the end of each series, mind wipes him and Pikachu. And he lives off this youth that he's been created over and yeah, over and yeah. over again. Yeah, Professor Oak that's... is actually the original Ash. Yeah, no, no, no. Oak sucks Ash's youth. That's how he doesn't age himself. That's how no one ages. <laughs> it was Tapu Koko, wasn't it? Did you see? It was very, very quick. It was very quick. You see the eyes of... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, legendary just... Pokemon being uh, childish. Yeah, is he just throwing stuff at us? <laughs> What's that Pokemon? Oh, shit. It's a fucking bear, man. Yeah, um... Is it, uh, it's a Care Bear. Beware. Let's kill it. I think he's actually called Beware. Let's kill the Beware. Or bearware or something like that. Fuck, run, 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 <laughs> run, You can't kill it. Go, you can't, go, you cannot just, kill just it. Go, just go, just go, turn, turn. Am I remembering correctly that it's a fighting type? I think it looks fighting in dark, but you know, I think it's normal. normal. I think it's normal. Definitely normal, but it could be... I oh, know, it look, kind of reminds me of uh, Grubble. Snubble. Snubble. Yes. The, the snubble, dark one when it's kind of Grumble, dark. Yeah. yeah. For some reason it says my game card was removed, but it was not. So I just don't it. argue with a DS. Get a new DS. But I thought I had it all up and ready and loaded for me to just pick out the Pokedex entry and. Oh shit, it's uh, Captain Free. Captain. One, two, it's Captain Jolly. Captain Four. Fourth Captain, sorry. No, Fourth Captain. Yeah, no, ignore me. You do him before the grass one. Kakokwai, Kwai, Kwi. Something like that. Oh shit, Lily. Hi Lily. <laughs> she was useless in the first games, but she kind of in the ultras. Well she's more she saves his life now. No, no. No, no, but she's still useless. She gets better right at the very end of Ultra Sun and Moon. That's all I'll say. I won't say in what way or how. But Ah. I called some. However, if you're listening to this in English, you never saw that. Yeah, the, um, 
They cut it. Stupid. Maybe, maybe that's what we should do one day when I can find my glasses. What? Is watch watch band episodes all the banned stuff. episodes of Pokemon. What's there, like five? Oh, there's a few. Oh shit, it's every captain. I didn't realise at first. So, Mallow. Well, there's green as blue. <laughs> we've got the green ranger, we've got the blue ranger, we've got the yellow ranger. The red ranger was flying on a Charizard. Or is he the black ranger? No. He's, he's fire. He's the red ranger. Well, it looks bigger in the anime. It's one building in the bloody game. He's thinking with his dick. <laughs> He's thinking with his dick. He's not thinking properly. Who's that Grab him. So what we should yeah. do? We, sh we should have a Who's That Pokemon contest one day. We just find a video online of all the Who's That Pokemon and we see who can get the most the quickest. We won't include like new ones that you'll be iffy on. We'll be fair, we'll do like the first couple of generations. Uh, see? Old school gens. What was I fucking up before? Beware. You know what I find quite funny with the anime and Pokemon games? Is that when you play. when you have a certain Pokemon. And the Pokédex is against you, but you're still teaching the move that defies all logic. Yeah. Like there are some Pokémon who are not meant to move, like Metapod, for example. Yeah, it can learn tackle. Yeah. Like how's it? I thought it was not meant I to move. I suppose it bounces. <laughs> I thought it was doing a coming half. Gabby, 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 Gabby. A normal and fighting the beware was. We'll keep my Pokédex on standby. So what? Professor Oak just met them there. This is this is his cousin, Lilolan Oak. Uh, that's what that's why he's got a big ass tan. I thought Professor Oak just lied to them when they're a bit early. No. <laughs> Mess up with them longer like. Can't you remember from that he was in the original he was in Sun and Moon? I know, but it's been a long time. He's he's only just started Ultra Sun and Moon. Yeah, he looks much older. He wasn't as animated. Yeah. Oak just filled me in. Hi, Ash, Pikachu. Pokemon School is a wonderful place. I expected him to have more of like a sort of surfer dude accent. Like, yo, dude, nah, don't worry. Welcome to Pokemon School, yeah? He's surfer, not high. That's how surfers talk. <laughs> oh shit. Team Skull straight away. Team Skull doesn't like anyone getting in our way. I just can't imagine Team Rocket from Bushigan. Yeah, they're doing it differently yeah, to what we're doing. Where's our rocket? Where's... Oh! Oh no, I thought... You see three... I, I, haven't, I haven't got my glasses on. You see three people sort of sly out from a corner, you think, oh, is that Team Rocket? Well, are they meant to be kids? Well, Team Skull, so I've... The idea with Pokemon is that most of them are they're all meant to be kids. They're all meant to be like between ten and thirteen. Even Kawhi, the I like how the all the Pokemon are coordinated in different groups. Yeah. It's not like they're not mixed, they're like they're segregated. 
Oh yeah, that's they, a bad they, image. They, 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 they've um, they've practiced their throwing out of their pokeballs. They got a big <laughs> landing. Yeah, got a perfect landing. See, I like the animation. The art style's still taking a bit of getting used to. Terminator. <gasps> Terminator. Oh, God, Arnie. Terminator. He's my boss. I love turtles, as you, 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 you can tell. <laughs> Pretty sure that was more fault tackle. Yeah. Well, he wasn't electricing, but so maybe not. Wow, they fucking level threes. <laughs> I'm fucking them for five bitches. I'm, a I'm not a champion. Not a champion. I'm a troll captain, bitch. I live on a fucking volcano. <laughs> oh, imagine I should jump out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> shit, man. Yeah, ah, shit, my trainers. He is worthy. The cocky uh, anime guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. He's he's doing he's doing like, it's like power, power Ranger morphing why, time. Why does he need to? <laughs> overkill. He's, he's doing so complete, well. He has to, it's complete uh, overkill. You could have just let Ash do it. <laughs> Ash is just there, dude. You're still in my thunder. Literally. 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 Thunder type. Literally. For sake. Give me one of those shiny stone things. Over a fucking kill, that's what this yeah. is. <laughs> they were already down. You are just pretty much jobbing. Showing off, he's showing he's off. You're picking up a sledgehammer to yeah. a paralyzed guy. It's over, we know it. <laughs> you're gonna win. Calm the fuck down. How they're not all dead, I don't know. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> oh, the fat one's running. <laughs> Should we call the police or something? <laughs> but they, they don't really do much. They're kind of just there causing trouble, fuggyish like, and digging themselves up. Oh, see, at least we've got all the trial captains at school. But why? They don't need to be at school. No! Unless is this like a prequel to the games? Well, it's not connected to. You can't think like that. Don't think like you this has anything to do with the games. You angered a lot of people. I know, out there. I know. <laughs> Don't the anime and the games are not the same. They're not the same, I know. The games are so much better. The games are the only thing that's kept me into the series. Yeah, we haven't heard that before. <laughs> How long has, have you been trying to be a Pokemon Master, Ash? Ash, maybe you should think of a different yeah. career path, yeah. you know? You're not very good at doing maybe, this. Maybe, maybe just like aim a little lower. Try like Elite Four or yeah, Gym keep, Leader or you something. You keep spouting Pokemon Master, Master, yeah. Master. How many Pokemon have you caught? He's caught, Ten. A, he's caught a decent amount. But how many Pokemon leagues have you won? One that I know of. And it was the Orange Islands, and that doesn't count. Anyway, something about Tapu Koko. <laughs> Ah, lunch time. The family's out to dinner. Mm, this is so good. Why is it? I'd like to try some. Because if you didn't watch like the past five minutes, well, we not we gotta know what he's thinking about. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose. I mean, you'd put, you might be thinking. Maybe it's better to show, not tell. Yeah, rather than have him saying stuff or thinking it. Yeah. No. Okay. I mean, you could be thinking about, you know. Yeah. Maybe need some new headphones. Like, this food's really cold. That's crazy. Why, why, why is the meat chewy? <laughs> what are you thinking? Ah, oh, not important. <laughs> Fucking Quay showing off, stealing my thunder. Oh, shit. 
Actually sounds like a chicken. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. I come before you from a very long, long time ago. I come from a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. My home planet is at war, and I have come to find a guardian to help save the universe. A guardian of a galaxy, perhaps. Is there something you want to tell me? I just said it. Take this shiny bracelet. It'll make you look cool. Be the popular at school and everything. Then that's how I got it. That's no, not no, important. No, no, no. It, it doesn't it? matter that I stole and killed a guy. <laughs> it does not matter. Uh, I kill, killed Hal's grandfather for this. But but no one needs to know that. Let's not focus on the negative. Let's here. no, no. Let's let's focus on the positive. You got a Z ring. Ooh. Oh, got go. a Z ring now. Da, 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 legendary da, da, pig da, da, one just da, da, happened da, da, to have da. one. Oh, I got it upside down. No one's questioning that. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no. Leg it's like in in Alola, legendary Pokemon just shit out these sparkly stones. It's it's just the way things go. I saw a legendary pig one. Yeah, nothing new here. Yeah. Oh god, imagine, imagine how like bad that would be to your like reputation if. You're out, you see one of the legendary guardians, but it doesn't give you a sparking stone. It's like, yeah, yeah, I saw Tapu Coco. Did you, did you get a Z-Ring? No. We, we get, we get a Z-Ring? Yeah, everyone's got a Z-Ring. Oh, you're no, you're not, you're not worthy, I'm afraid, my son. Did you make a gay joke? He's very sensitive about that issue. Wait, shit, did his mum just leave him in Alola? Alola. It's a mother, isn't it? She's never been there Just for him. Just abandoned her never children. Never been there for him. She kicked him out at ten years old. Hey. See, like, I like Ash with the hat backwards. It's different. You don't see him with it backwards as much anymore. Only when it has to be an epic moment. Sorry, hat forward annoys me, just in general. I think it's just because after 20 years, it's the same thing we've ever seen him with. And it's... No, I think what it is is because... <laughs> No. I have all no, the things. No. I could have pissed no, around. Honestly, honestly, what I think it is. is I don't like this. That pisses, I like it now. Yeah, no, what pisses me off is that I can't wear my hat backwards in Sun and Moon games. Because I don't mind wearing a hat, but I don't usually wear my hat forwards. Okay. I wear my cap backwards. So I'd like to be able to. Well, I think you should, you should call the game company and, you know, yeah. tell them how yeah. frustrated you are. Yeah, I, I think I will. I'm British, I will write them a. Heart a long worded letter. With a thesaurus first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a strongly worded letter. Auto corrected on Microsoft Word, obviously. Uh, uh, okay. I don't know if I'd want to carry on watching it. I wouldn't. It's alright. Some things it's, you have to let it's go. It's harmless. It's harmless, but it's. Not for us, I think we grew out of the anime. Honestly. No, we didn't grow out of the anime, we grow out of what it was compared to no. what we thought it was. Okay, we grew out of Ash fucking Ketchum. If they renewed the anime with mm. a new, whole new set of characters, a new main character, like the fucking Pokemon Origins. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind watching that, but again, the anime style. I d I don't know. I wasn't too bugged by it. It would it'd take a bit of getting used to, but I've seen other things where the anime st animation style well, has changed. Yeah. Well, with Beyblade especially, completely yeah. changed. But I I got around with that for some reason. I don't know. I found like art styles and stuff. I tend to be a bit picky at first, but I always tend to just get used to it uh, with just, anything I've done. I think it, uh, yeah. We're, so, we are very bored of Ash right now. I mean, yeah. It's ten Ash. years old. Again, despite having a one-year anniversary of Pikachu. I mean, what they could have done for Sun and Moon is Hal's journey. The rival from Sun and Moon. That hyperactive yeah. kid that is he's a perfect anime protagonist. Mm. Give him one of the Alolan stuff. No, you can still even give him a fucking Pikachu, but make him evolve it into an Alolan Raichu. Mm. Yeah. And then, once you've had a nice big series with How or whoever... Have them meet. Ash have him and Ash meet. Mm. 
How good would that be? But no, we still got to cater to the ten-year-olds. Yeah, okay. I love Pokemon to bits, dearly. But I think I've just grown out of the anime. Yeah, the, I think the only reason they'll actually hold on to Ash is because they want maybe new, the older audience to keep watching it, but we're not. No. It's time to say goodbye. Ash needs to grow up. He needs to be a fucking he adult does. by now. He needs to be a gym think, leader. Like... You know, a recurring character, yeah. not... This, yes. Make Ash, like, 15 years old, he's now running the pewter gym. Brock's gone off to make a breeding centre. And then we get to see the next generation of Pallet Town Pokemon trainers go off and do their adventure. Yeah, because it's a, it's re it's generations, over and over and over again, throughout the whole yeah. generation of each Pokemon game. There has to be a new generation even, of like, the anime. Even the games have some kind of awkward timeline. <laughs> Let's not talk let's about not, the timelines. Let's not worry about game timelines. Let's not fuck up the, our minds just yet. But yeah. Uh, I think it's why I praise the Digimon anime so much over the Pokemon anime. They grow up. They age. The yeah. characters develop. I mean, yeah. I know we haven't gotten that far yet in Razu or Digitized. But we will get there. And it's just... They just age. You can just... Grow the fuck up, Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that that was a bit of a downer. So yeah, yeah. Let's let's what let's. We were recording that, yeah. Yeah. I can't. Oh, <laughs> I haven't got my glasses, so I can't see the camera. So let's let's try and let's move off of that. We've had a nice little Pokemon thing. Mimi, let's go, go set up with the turtles. Shall we have a quick break? Would you like a quick break? Yes. I don't. Like I don't break. need one. But if you would like a quick break, then we can have a quick break. Mm -hmm. uh, five minutes. We'll have, yeah, we'll, we'll, it will, will be a quicker one because mm -hmm. if we're only doing the short episodes of stuff now, mm -hmm. we don't want to take too long on breaks, mm -hmm. and we want to try and get through little bits. Mm -hmm. No, you were meant to. Yeah. He, he can go to the movie set. That's bloody Tocha. I oh, know. So um, I don't know how. Time to go to a break, I suppose. Let's, let's... Well, now you can... Mimic you. Quick Mimi. edit now. Yeah, yeah, no. That's what I can do. Mimi, let's uh, snuggle together or whatever the hand movements are. Pow. So, um, do you want to tell me how you got into Ben 10 to okay. begin with? Okay, yeah. Well, if, if you didn't know what we're going to be doing next, we're going to watch an episode of Ben 10. Because I, I love Ben 10. It's, it's another show I grew up watching. And actually, how I got into Ben 10 was I watched a live action movie before the animation, the, the show. So I was. It, 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 it. Yeah, it was that. I was that. We're gonna, we've got to keep going. It's, it's, it's not live, but it's all. One flowing situation. So, the live action movie was playing on Cartoon Network. I was on holiday, I was about 13 in America. Not a lot of shows on that a uh, young British kid in America would really get into. Mm. But they had Cartoon Network. You can't go wrong with Cartoon Network. No. So, stuck it on, and there was a live action film about a kid that could transform into aliens. Oh. And I'm big on me old aliens and my superpowers and stuff like that. So, I got into Ben 10. Yeah. And, as you can tell, I got into Ben 10. <laughs> not literally. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> not literally, he's not that no. big into it, Ben no. 10. You would think of that, wouldn't you? <gasps> Peter Bear! No, that was Pokemon just a moment ago with the bloody... <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't make a Peter Bear joke there, actually. I was trying to be behave. <laughs> You're trying to behave. Now it's like, oh fuck it, all bets are off. <laughs> all bets are off, and now that we've gone to a show that's for people probably around the same age-ish. Yeah. I, I will say this is be I enjoy this better than Pokemon, most probably. Oh yeah. I definitely like this better. So, with Ben 10, the idea is that maybe one day we will continue this as a reaction series, because I do want to revisit this properly, and I've never actually watched it fully... Oh. In the right order. I watched most of the episodes. Mm. 
in a jumbled order. Because <laughs> that's... I didn't have Cartoon Network myself. My nan had Cartoon Network. So, yeah. you, you get what you give them sometimes. The days before the internet. Yeah, it was... Yeah, I don't think we got internet till I was about 15. Mm. We we were we were latecomers with the internet. Yeah, my nan actually my nan had internet before we had internet. <laughs> so I used to use the internet at her house, but then we had Cartoon Network at her house anyway. So let's go with Ben Ten. I believe the first episode was called "And Then There Are Ten, or "Then There Were Ten. We could check. And then there and were then ten. there were ten. And the galaxy far far away. Long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. I mean, literally. So he's already more exciting than bloody Pokemon. <laughs> he's... He's got... It's... Okay, hang on. I never put two and two together as a kid. It's a squid guy with tentacles and his minions are gimps. 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 As in slaves. They they were wearing gimp outfits, just like leather masks and shit. As tentacles as pervy vestiges. <laughs> oh, and I love the theme tune. So we got straight off the bat we just see a little ten year old <laughs> throwing paper airplanes <laughs> at his teacher and hiding behind very poorly I might add. His desk. He's I can see a great hero in him already. Obviously, he cares about education, a big surprise. He respect, authority. Before your very eyes, he's slimy, freaky, fast and strong. He's every shape and size. Oh, he's ben we ten. we do this every fucking Power Ranger episode. Can we just for oh, once? I love the theme tune. You love the theme listen, tune to every. Oh, shut up! Just listen to it. It's cool. If, if I'd have shut up and I'd let you listen to the words, it pretty much gives you, It's all you need to know. You listen to Fuel Tune, you know what the show's about. Okay. It started when an alien device did what it did. It stuck itself upon his wrist with secrets that it hid. Now he's got superpowers. He's no ordinary kid. He's Ben 10. I breathe, yes. I'm fanboying. I haven't watched this in a while, actually. But I've got the theme on my phone. That's how I know it so well. Remembering he's um, 10 years old. And character development does happen throughout the series. We're not going to see that today because we're only watching one episode. I read the subtitles wrong. It said, I'll see you again in the fall. I thought it read, I'll see you again in hell. What's with his head? It's, 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 yeah. it's a weird shape. It's a football head, but it's like, it's like Stewie's head, but on the side. Or oh, hey, Arnold's head. That's what I originally <laughs> thought of. If we're doing old was, cartoons, was, we got to do old okay, yeah. cartoon references. This is about the midway point, actually. Half, after A. Arnold, but not as modern. <laughs> Hey, I tried to not. Yeah, no, no, no. My heart was in the right place. My underpants currently are not. Come on, Ben, let's go. We're burning daylight. I want to make it to the campsite by nightfall. Oh, He's not going to say, uh, what the fuck are you doing up there? <laughs> no. Stop hanging around with your friend, Ben. We've got camping to go to. Oh, pun not intended. Happy <laughs> asking. Granddad, get me off here. <laughs> Yes. She's a girl. I don't know. I'm <laughs> 40 gets, years old. I still think girls get cooties. He's 10. He's 10. Oh, he's, 10. he's fucking 10. He's even more of a cooties kid. How old is she meant to be? I think he's like a year or two older, maybe. Oh. She's not that much older. No shit, Sherlock. I think the grandpa was one of my favourite characters, actually. 
I loved the grandpa. <laughs> the fuck, dude? What is that? Worms. Yeah, pretty much. I am not fucking <laughs> eating that. <laughs> what, Africa? If these don't sound good, I've got some smoked sheep's tongue in the fridge. Let's call cool, a Domino's. Do we have a Domino's? <laughs> Maybe a cooked sheep's tongue would be a bit, bit better than raw maggots, though, or raw worms. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd, if I had to choose between the two, I'd go Give with the Give me the tongue. tongue. Yeah. The din's already dead. Yeah. <laughs> go to McDonald's, there's thousands of millions the middle, of them. In the middle of the woods. There's probably a Matt Dolan around the corner. <laughs> we just turn the corner and there's just one built into like a shack. Yeah. See what I see? They're wearing gimp masks. I just got, I just, my mind's in the gutter. I think you blew all, up all over it. Oh, the glasses is behind. Okay. Oh, um, that's his seat. Oh, he's a strong swimmer, he is. Who wants to roast marshmallows? Well, ordinary food. Okay. How about we tell scary stories? Uh, kids on the hook. Yeah, you gave, you gave them phones, you're, you're fucked now. Well, phones and a laptop. Where are they connecting their Wi Fi? Or they got 4G. They've been talking to Kevin Bacon. Yeah, maybe, maybe. She's got a dongle plugged in. You can move around like this all summer, or we can have some fun. What do you say? I'm hoping. I'm gonna take a look. Smell you around. Smell you later. Da 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 no, I'm gonna have to bleep that out now. Ah, oh, that's fine. Oh, so you can bleep it out and say it as many times as I want. No, don't. <laughs> I had a better version, I couldn't find it. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Yeah. Ten, nine, eight. Not helping. <laughs> Try to find something a bit so harder than a stick. Push <laughs> that is the reaction you'd have if you're suddenly on fire. <laughs> just there rolling around on the floor, but he doesn't realize he's making everything on fire. <laughs> I'm on fire. I'm on fire. But don't shush. You laugh at the same joke, it's fine. At least he acknowledged it was a joke. <laughs> you don't shoot the forest. What's he meant to shoot? He's in a, he's, he should not be fire any, in a just forest. Don't, don't shoot anything, yeah. He's going to cause a just forest stand, fire. Just He's already caused a fire. That's fire. <laughs> you just stand still and wait for it to wear off. If it... You're a fire. Yeah. <laughs> don't try to put fire out with fire. You fight fire with fire, don't you? You don't. You fight well, fire with fire. In that with case, that's, that's what they do. Not in the forest. Forest fire. We better let the radio station know. Probably some darn fool camper out there messing around with something you should. Yeah. Ben. <laughs> <laughs> wait, where's Ben? <laughs> At least he's prepared. <laughs> I was gonna say you just keep two fire extinguishers in a food cooler. Be so cool if it so 
the candle writer is not terrible. Let's see. <laughs> it's a normal reaction. You never read the Fantastic Four? I fucked up. <laughs> He's, about no, to start. Us. He's about to start the whole story again. Well, yes. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> fight fire with fire. Yeah, but do you know where to shoot the flames, Ben? That's what I'm thinking. Ben. He's fucking ten. He doesn't know this shit. Okay, now I've made it worse. Now what do I do, Grandpa? <laughs> Come on, show us a little science of how it happened. Yeah. Uh, that is a little bit of a shame, I'll give you that. Well, maybe like, maybe you have any reverses then got into a water one or a wind one. Or they even used the fire extinguishers to put out this new fire so that it had the burn point. Or he accidentally learned a new power that he can swallow the flames. Like, absorb them. Mm. <laughs> I swear, I believe you. Think he's gonna stay a monster forever? He's not a monster. He's an alien. Is there any different? Hang on, hang on. How do you know this shit? Priorities, Ben. Priorities. <laughs> Stop touching it, Ben. Let's get out That's of the That's not the first time he said that to him. <laughs> Let's get out of this car. There's one sir. fucking camper van, Ben. We know what you do. Let's get away from all this wood. Ah. Well, if the thing you wanted was in there, it wouldn't be now, would it? Maybe he realised it he was realized open it, and got yeah. angry. Hiya! <laughs> <laughs> Best laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and? <laughs> what would what, you say is messing with it? She is ginger after all. <laughs> We're cousins, so. I can figure this thing out. Maybe I can help people. I mean, really help them. Not just, you know, make things worse. So, what did it feel like going all alien like that? Ah, that was awesome! It was like I was me, but it was also like I was somebody else. Oh, shit. I think I figured out how I did it. Should I try it again? No. I wouldn't. No duh, you would. <laughs> what alien will it be this time? Wolfman. Wild man. I think that's what was wild man. Wild thing. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> bitch, I just did a front flip. Front flip. <laughs> I thought you, bitch. I don't think you can talk in this one. I know. I think he's gone. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. Tarzan, maybe? More Tarzan? Speed is right out of me, man. They remind me of something. Can't remember what. Star Wars? Possibly. Very possibly. They yeah, have got a Star Wars vibe too now that you mention it. Don't, don't, dude, you watch shitloads of sci fi. I know. It'll take us a long time to narrate I know, now. that's why I didn't even bother trying to look it up. <laughs> a very generic scouter. A generic scouter droid, yeah. <laughs> oh shit, that's um. another one. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, do I get it started again? Run, 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 run. Bad day, bad day. <laughs> oh, thank you. I didn't realize you cared. Still family, I suppose. Like, you like siblings. You don't get on with them, but you love them. I was worried that you might get cocky with that thing on your wrist. That's why I asked you not to fool around with it until we know what the heck it is. Sorry, Grandpa. But at least I figured out how to make it work. All you do is press this button, then when the ring pops up, just twist it until you see the guy. Then. Slam it down and bam! You're one of ten super cool alien dudes! What about staying a super cool alien dude and not transforming back into plain old pizza face? I kind of haven't figured that part out yet. With a device as powerful as that watch clamp on you, my guess is we better help you learn fast. I smell training <laughs> montons coming <laughs> off! <laughs> I was just there thinking, like, you seem awfully calm about all this, Grandpa. You're like... It's like you know about this yeah. before. Mm. Oh, it could be just a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> no. <coughs> That's your this name bitch. as well, bitch. <laughs> We're all Tennysons in this camper van. Let's one today. <laughs> yeah. Eeny meeny. Mo. I see Mo. Oh. That was I. Okay. Ice man. Like cold as ice. Diamonds. Diamonds. Ooh. A little bit sharp there. So what can this guy do? You dig deep, man. That's deep. So three times in one fucking evening. They're after the Omnitrix. No, no, I meant like he's transformed three fucking times. Yeah. Isn't he not knackered at this point? He's a kid. I thought They're he was taking a towel or something. Okay. Uh, like he gets tired after he eats juice. Not so much, no. It's more, there's normally a cooldown time. Uh, but obviously it's skipped over that. Mm. You normally have to wait like. To the well, like somehow 10, 10, 15 minutes, to get yeah. In trouble again. Pretty much. <laughs> Don't just stand oh. there. <laughs> just stand in a fighting pose. Yeah. I'm here to defeat you. You will not get past me. <laughs> you got past me. Hey, I'm not fucking Gandalf. Kicking in the nuts. <laughs> Where's his nuts? Bolts and nuts is all everywhere. You probably wouldn't believe me if I told you. Now come on. 
<laughs> okay, I'm coming. <laughs> I've seen enough. I'm coming. Screw this noise, I'm gone. I'm outie. Pick up the car and chuck it. Pick up the car and chuck it. Oh, what the fuck? You're still getting used to this one then, I suppose. Pick up the tree, chuck it. Pick up the tree. Or save the tree. Save, save, save Gwen. Cousin, save yeah. Gwen. <laughs> oh, okay. Fucking Gwen, move. Stunned oh, he, tu he turned into Giglif. <laughs> What's that, Pokemon? It's Ben 10! Hey. It's pretty much as hard as diamonds. Oh. Indestructible almost. Ah, oh, so you can't die in this form. Well, yeah, no, I suppose you wouldn't. Well, I suppose there's some things you could probably. What, like drink. drowning or poison? I can't. I can, yeah, maybe. Maybe, yeah. But in terms of physicalness, you but cannot die. Physically, he's pretty much indestructible. There might be some alien thing further on in the series that I can't remember that can mm. knock him down. But as far as we, at the moment, yeah, indestructible. And reflective. Mm. <laughs> um, this guy that we never see before. <laughs> I thought he was going to do a moonwalk. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> oh. You know, you can completely turn this into a Power Rangers um, origin story. It's just after it's the, the, the jams just I make made it Just make it five teenagers rather than one. Yeah. They've all got a different... Yeah. Absolutely. Once we've got that watch off you. <laughs> what have you done? What have you done? <laughs> Abusing his power already. Well, you're ten years old. What else are you gonna do? It's early days. Yeah. You no, know, um, I actually enjoyed that more than I thought I would. It's not bad. I I would actually consider watching it. Consider carry on watching it. Yeah. See, you can see why I like it now. Yeah. All right. You I'll can... let you off. With all the it's... Ben 10 stuff you've been wearing in the past, I thought. I've worn Ben 10 stuff for years. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good show. It's a kid that can turn into aliens. And he uses his powers to try and be a superhero. But not just that, it's the writing. It's, it's not, funny. It's not cliché, it's, it's not funny. Yeah. It's, yeah. No, that's always been one of my top... Like, I was just... I was coming near the end of the age range for Ben 10 when I got into it. I was like 12, 13. No. If only you were 10 when you discovered it. Yeah, if, I was physically 12, 13, but mentally I was, yeah, probably about 10 years old. My my mental age isn't quite up to... It's it's a fl it's, I have a fluctuating mental age, it doesn't matter, but yeah. Basically, if he goes for a doctor's appointment and a doctor asks him a question, he'll be looking to his mum like, What? Yeah, yeah, she's shaking her head, I'm shaking my head, no. It's not that bad. I go to a doctor's on my own if I went to doctors. I don't go to doctors, I'm a man. When was the last time you went to a doctor's? When I got diagnosed with IBS. How long ago was that? College. So a good, what, five years? Yeah, but I haven't needed to go to the doctors. I've just had colds and illnesses, really. Uh, yeah. Anytime you need to go to the doctors, you have a serious... How did we get home to doctors from Ben Bloody 10? So you enjoyed Ben I 10 anyway. You you enjoyed Ben 10. Yes. Yeah? 
Yes. Okay, so definitely a possibility for a reaction in the future. Mm hmm. Which I'd definitely be up for because I spent 60 quid on this fucking box and I want to use it somehow. <laughs> You spent 60 quid? I spent 60 quid on this box. <laughs> Scorched me. I sneezed. Right, the there we down. go. It's very slow coming out, giggity. Just, just like I was. <gasps> it all wraps up in the end. So now we're gonna... We're gonna attempt to get Netflix working. Our next, well, unless did you want to take another break? Are you happy to go on to the next thing? Well, we can make a cut there, then once we get all set up, try again. If we just keep talking, <laughs> might be able to keep talking through it. Let's see how we can do. <laughs> <laughs> see, put, go Fred, put, go Fred. Put, see, put him on the spot, he goes blank. Don't know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> does not compute. Does not compute. It's, it's just like Cosmo from the Fairly Odd Parents. Could just listen inside your head. It would just be elevator music. <laughs> I'll think more of Homer Simpson with a yeah. fucking monkey. Yeah. yeah, that too. It's just you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't keep enough in there. It's one well, thing to in get, and another thing goes out. If you go to someone like, oh, I'm gonna play some music on my phone. Like, okay, cool. All right, um, give me a band. You're like. And there's like dads with a batch of shoes from me, like, I don't know. I right, pick, pick a rapper. I don't know. <laughs> pick something. Uh, you, you just put on the spot, you don't know what to say. Okay, so it turns out Netflix is being a bitch anyway. Uh. So we're going to have to find this on an exterior source. However, we have access to Netflix, so technically legally watching it. How do we close that? There we go. So. Now we're going to have to have a cut because I'm going to have to find it on a different source. Bye bye. Netflix. It's I don't know if it's the computer or my internet or just Netflix going down. But this happens to us way too often.